Yakuza is a 1960s samurai film directed by Masahiro Makino. It's the same director that gave us the excellent Ronin Guy. It stars big actor Kinosuke Nakamura. <laughs> So this is a film I've never heard of, in fact, I probably never would have known about if it wasn't for fellow YouTuber, the Nerdy Ronin. He sent me a post on Twitter, and it just showed this awesome fight in the middle of this woods with Nakamura just taking on a ton of enemies, and they're all wearing like kabuki masks. I don't know why, but there's just something really intriguing about it, the way it looked. Just how in the background there's just so many enemies. And of course just Nakamura just taking on everyone. <laughs> so that's basically all it took to sell me on this film. Anyway, after this be sure to check out the Nerdy Ronin's video, he did a great review on it. And wish him a happy birthday. So looking into this film, which I knew nothing about, Yakuza Vina is actually part of this long lineage of films. They're all about this traveling Yakuza named Yotaro. It originated as serialized stories by Khan Shimazawa. He's perhaps best known for being the writer that gave us the awesome Zatoichi series. I still have yet to finish those films. I think I'm only on like 6, there's like 25 I think. Maybe I'll get back on track with those real soon, we'll see. But anyway, the Yotaro character in this actually appears in some of the old silent films by Shozo Makino. Makino is just a legendary Japanese director. You could even say he's the godfather of Japanese cinema. Yotaro also appeared later in a series of films by Hiroshi Inagaki in the 30s. In 1957, Raizo Ichikawa took on the role in a Kazuo Mori film. But in 1960, Masahiro Makino followed in the footsteps of his father Shozo with this film. <laughs> So this film is somewhat similar to Yojimbo. It sort of begins the same with a wandering ronin. He comes to the crossroads and he tosses something into the air to let fate decide which direction to take. Yotaro is the main character in this. He's the lone yakuza slash ronin in this. And eventually, he takes up the residence with this kind boss named Tora. Yatora then sort of strikes up this semi-relationship with the boss's daughter Yuki. But Yuki is also preoccupied by her widowed father who's planning to marry a woman named Maki. Yuki knows that Maki is just a gold digger that's involved with the devious boss Daihachi. They are both trying to con the boss Tora out of his gambling territory and logging operations. Yatoro then teams up with his childhood friend who's the local magistrate and they're gonna expose Maki's evil plan and secret romance with Daihachi. So I'm gonna say this movie is just fine, it's sort of a standard 60s samurai film. It's definitely made better just by the performance of Nakamura. I mean, every movie he's in, it just becomes the Nakamura show, and he definitely stands out in this. I especially liked some of the swordplay in this film. I think some of it was pretty impressive, especially the final fight. I also just really liked the ending. I think it all wraps up very nicely. 
I felt very satisfied. I would have preferred better pacing. I mean, it definitely does drag, but you could kind of expect that from a 60s samurai film. But ultimately, I, I still feel like it's missing something just to make it stand out more. But I feel like I would enjoy this more just after seeing some of the older Yatora films. I think that would help me understand better just the character's heritage. Also worth mentioning is the movie's just cool use of song and dance. Musical scenes seem to be somewhat of a trademark of this director. And I feel like he's always just looking for an excuse to have all of his characters break out in song and dance. Here the song and dance just leads to the best part of the film. You get an ambush of killers in kabuki masks. It's as awesome as it sounds. The final showdown just merges kabuki theater with all out violence. Watch the movie just for this scene alone. Anyway, I want to thank the Nerdy Ronin for sending me this film. Be sure to check out his review. And also, please subscribe if you haven't to my channel. And don't forget to support the channel through Patreon. And like always, thanks for watching.